Also quickly, I'm not gonna go too much into, you know, should I get the full frame or the crop sensor? Cause you already know I got the crop sensor. But I did mention that, the, you know, the, the price range, the Mark III is like, you know, over three grand. And so that's why I went with the crop sensor. But then I, I, I have to mention this, I, I've, I realized the 6D, same fr uh, full frame camera, same sensor as the Mark III. And I was like, whoa, this camera is, cheap it's like it was like less than 1300 i think i found the body for and i was like wow and that's why i was really stuck i might get that camera it's like a full frame i can don't even have to start with a crop sensor you know that's debatable but i wanted to get that but then i i did some tests and i realized or i, I did some reviews and i i talked to some friends and one thing about the 6d maybe it's achilles heel is it's got a lot of all these cameras have a lot of moray and aliasing which is that those little line is little like almost like out of focus black lines when you when you like say when you film power lines or horizontal or vertical lines that are really close together and you're panning or zooming you see these little like uh like little phantom little black lines going them it's kind of distracting sometimes and i realized that the only camera that has a built-in alias and uh, aliasing and more a filter is the mark three and it gets images and video because i like to do video and it cuts out pretty pretty nicely all the moray and aliasing and like if you're not at that level you probably don't even notice it or care but eventually i know eventually i'm probably not at that level eventually you know every time i want to i want to get better every you know, camera i buy or every sh uh, shoot that i do and so eventually when i'm doing shoots i know that i'm gonna say "Ooh, this shot's got moray and aliasing in it it's not as good as if i could have shot it on the 60d so i know i want to eventually get to that you know, quality level of uh, video. So I was like, you know what? I'll just wait till I can afford a camera with the built-in alias and more a filter. Now you can buy filters to put into these these other cameras that don't have it, but I think you have to like put them in and out while you're filming video. It's like another $300 and it just seemed a little complicated. I was like, you know what? I don't have that kind of money. I'm just gonna stick with the crop sensor, get good with this, and maybe one day soon get into the, uh, the full frame world. But um, yeah, so I'll show some, some samples of moray and aliasing on this. Okay, so if you, if you look in the grass when I start to pan, even in the grass, you can see like the little kind of like blurry black lines in the, where it turns from the green grass into the rocky structure. If you look on the horizon line right there, you can see it on that line pretty distinctly. And even in the lines, the black lines of the rock structure itself, you can see these little you know black squiggly lines and here's the power lines again and again only the Canon mark 3 5d mark 3 has a built-in filter and you can look up reviews and you don't see this not at all pretty much it's got a, it does a good job all the other cameras the T series the 60d even the 6d that's a full frame camera will have you can even see it in the little lines there they will all have more in aliasing except for the 5D. I feel like that's everything I wanted to talk about. Thanks for watching this video.